Hey, what's up, Epic 7 players? Pat here with another video. I'm not doing a full Kiss of Frost guide like I said I was going to do, but I will at least do a run through of the actual side story on Epic Hell so you guys can see how I cleared it, and hopefully, this will help you all come up with a strategy to clear it as well. So, here are the three teams that I ended up playing for this. The first team, it is very important for you to have a lot of AoE characters, specifically ones that have high frequency of AoE. Holiday Euphine is going to be the MVP here. Uh, in the second phase, you just need a defense breaker and a high damage DPS and somebody that can provide a lot of buffs very quickly. I play a very fast DN. You may need two Soul Weavers. You can use DN and Rowana or any combination there in between. As long as you have at least two buffs on your characters at all times, you will probably be fine. And in the last phase, we are going to cheese it with Fighter Maya and Ruel of Light. Kisei is not needed. She is only here to just help expedite the process and make things go faster. You really only need uh, Fighter Maya, another light unit so that Fighter Maya does extra damage and some high you know effect resistance and tanky soul weaver that can keep both fighter maya and the soul weaver alive so that's all you need there's all the tools that you'll need so here's the actual run i am doing this live as i'm recording this by the way this is not me just voicing over a completed run so the first thing you're going to notice is this battle mana passive here you need to land five attacks when there are no enemies left that hit all enemies so basically five aoe attacks when there are no enemies left alive in order for you to dispel this attack buff from the boss it's really important that you make sure you get this down because otherwise the boss will do a punishing amount of damage in the other waves for holiday euphine you're only spamming s1 the entire run you're not changing the strategy it's literally just s1 every time her turn is up I use Vivian for the attack buff, as well as the immunity and the AoE. And then Senya is just here because I think my Senya is really good and she's cool looking. You don't need Senya. So as you can see, Vivian did battle mana dispelled one, battle mana dispelled two, also don't worry too much about the stacks, the stacks matter a lot in the lower difficulties, with fighter Maya in the third wave, you will not really worry too much about the damage that you're taking. So there's battle mana three. All right, there's four. So now I only need to land one more AOE attack when there are no other enemies left and we'll be fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Note that when you don't actually kill an enemy, it does stack the boss still, though. That's unfortunate. Double miss. The reason, again, we're only spamming the S1 on Holiday Euphine is because it does the uh, neutral damage to ice enemies. We just want to make sure that we're doing damage to the boss. Alright, and that will be mana dispelled 5. So now you see the attack buffs gone for the rest of the fight. 
And now we just push to 70 as fast as we can get it. Alright, so now you'll notice this is protection mana. This goes away, this defense buff, after you land 7 single target attacks on the additional add that shows up here. So there's one, you can see protection mana dispelled. Really important, DN keeps these buffs up. You take a lot less damage when you don't have the attack buff from Alicia, as well as from having two or more buffs on all of your characters. Just get the speed buff from Landy. I'm gonna save the S1, uh, S2 in case I get a slow. Man, there was a protection three is gone. I will guide you through the light. Give me strength. Got it, Flurry? Just like we practiced. Leave it to me. For Landy, I'm just still attacking the boss because I need to I just want to get the boss down faster. Like these two do very minimal damage to the boss, so I can just, you know, use their attacks to do it while still progressing to the next phase. I believe this is what the goddess wills. My Landy, by the way, is a counter Landy, so she is very slow compared to a standard Landy. You may have more success with your Landy since she is probably much faster than mine. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. There you go. Protection mana is down. So now, if, you know, Chloe wasn't stunned here, we would uh, actually be able to defense break and start putting out some big damage. Alright, I'm gonna soul burn this to guarantee that I get the defense break. I don't need souls in the last form at all for anything other than Ruel, and I only really need one on deck, so it doesn't really matter to me. That's for the CR, also the healing, because now you see she's going to have the S2 up, uh, S3 up again in a second. Dn Soulburn is so good here. Like I would say, Dn feels like the most important character aside from Fighter Maya for this entire run. She just generates so many souls. So much healing comes out. So many buffs, so many D-spells. It's a really nuts unit. Defense break again. Mm, stun's unfortunate there. So if you have Rwana here instead of Clurry, you would get uh, some CR there and the Landy would actually cut. Through 
Once you get past this phase, again, if you have Fighter Maya, you've probably already won. So, even though it looks like it's cutting it close, like I said, this is the hardest part of the fight, at least for me. There we go. Alright, so we basically almost won at this point. I've never really lost with this setup in the final form, so... Okay, so we're gonna use only we're only using Kisei here because she does bonus damage to the barrier. We're just trying to get that barrier down as fast as we can. I'm not afraid. So I'm gonna heal Kisei because she's gonna take a ton of damage in a second. All right, cool. Basket. So we're gonna practice again just to chew through the shield because that shield stays up forever and you can't dispel it. So. Right, so Ruel should go next. We're gonna revive Ruel here. That's actually the most damage my Ruel has ever taken in this fight. Usually Kisei is dead at this point. Oh, cool. And she still has the barrier, so we're gonna do this since it does more damage than S3. Right, so now the goal is at this point just to survive. Don't care that she's dead. We're trying to get down to 30%, which is this other notch right here. Fighter Maya is going to always have defense buff, and because she can't get dispelled, she's not going to trigger too many counters. And my Rua has really, really high effect res, so she is not going to trigger any there either. Uh, we are actually going to just use an S1 here. Okay, now she's under 30, so now the S3 is going to do a ton of extra damage. Alright, so now we're going to have souls to use the soul burn if I need the emergency healing. And now you can see I'm going to do a lot more damage just in my crit. Yeah. Yeah, see, 25k. That's a lot more than the standard hit that we're, you know, throwing out. And now she's going to get really fast. That's A-OK. -okay. Because it's, you know, just means more counter rocks for Fighter Maya, potentially. See, she got hit with the uh, the frosty buff, but we're still fine. We're basically just trying to hold on now until we get to a point where... I'm actually going to dispel real here, but yeah, we're trying to hold on until we get to the S3 back on Fighter Maya. I'm on Noble Oath, by the way, which means I will take significantly less damage as her health gets lower. So even though it looks like I'm, I'm close to dying, we're still probably fine. I'm going to Soul Burn here to keep the health up. All right, so now we win, I believe, on Fighter Maya's next turn. I'm not afraid. A warm life. I'm gonna show you guys this for a while when we're done, and you're gonna be like, "Wait, that's the Ruel you used?" So yeah, you guys probably have a better one than I do right now. I'll show you what All right. I've got. Boom, easy. Told you. Fighter Maya is the MVP of the whole run. She makes that last run like super, super free. I know it says every <laughs> well fight is the MVP, but it's definitely Fighter Maya, trust me. You can play other uh, Soul Weavers in this slot as well. Rowana, actually, I think would work pretty well. All right, so let's go back to Lobby, and I'll show you every character that I use along with their stats real fast. Okay, so first wave, you remember we used Holiday Euphine. You can see my Holiday Euphine is not actually fully reforged yet. This is actually the Holiday Euphine build that you will probably see in the video when I do her next week. So yeah, 
3200 attack. Keep in mind, I have max imprint on this character. So 3200 attack. You would ideally want 1200 defense over 12k health, 225 or better speed, and 240 or better crit damage. You could probably do 250. So yeah, Sigurd Scythe just for the healing, but you don't need that for this run specifically. Green units. Let's go over to Sanya next. My Sanya has insane stats. Do not ignore the actual, uh, you know, gear sets. I'm on revenge hit. You do not need to be on revenge hit. That is just simply the gear I had laying around to get these stats. Again, Sanya wasn't really super important. Just here's my awesome Sanya. So next character to talk about is Vivian. My Vivian is pretty scuffed, honestly. 220 speed. You know, you can see a decent defense, not great. Horrible HP. 3600 attack, 280 crit damage. This is literally just my uh, Banshee one shot. Vivian, there's no changes here. Second wave, uh, we have Landy. You can see my Landy is very slow, 170. Decent bulk, so she survives. Okay damage. Guiding Light, this is a PvP. All my characters, I didn't change any of my gear for anything. This is still all of my PvP builds. Here's my Clurry. Decent defense, whatever, health. 255 speed is honestly kind of slow for a Clurry. You should be able to get this. It's like, I think, 13 speed average per piece and roughly 100 effectiveness. But as you guys saw, I'm literally just soul burning everything. So yeah, any any decent Clurry will work. The biggest problem I think you're going to have as far as gear is trying to beat the DN because my DN is 254 speed, which is ludicrous. It's like almost 17 speed per piece. So you know, if you have a tankier, slower DN, that's probably fine. And again, like I said, when we were doing the actual run, if DN, for whatever reason, you know, you don't have a fast one and, you know, DN Clary is not working for you, then by all means, you can switch to DN and like Rowana in that phase. And that should give you enough buffs, I believe, to actually get through it. Third phase, uh, Kisei does not really matter, like we talked about before. Uh, here's my Kisei. Not the fastest Kisei. Fast for, you know, compared to... Most DPS, but compared to most key saves I've seen, this is not really that fast. Uh, and then uh, Fighter Maya. My Fighter Maya is actually in the process of getting reworked. So you can see I am missing three reforges, so nothing like crazy. My defense is actually pretty low. I know a lot of people say 2100 is fine for Fighter Maya. I'm used to having 2600 for Fighter Maya, so 22 to me is really low. Um, but yeah, you can see my stats here. This is definitely the MVP of the run and you want to be playing Noble Oath. This artifact is absolutely broken if you have it. If you don't have it, um, I don't really know off the top of my head some other suggestions, but yeah, Fighter Maya, really important character to have for you know the run the way that I do the run. And the last character to show you is actually my Ruel of Light, which I just recently got on a revenge set, which I am very happy about. I am still in the process of trying to reforge it. As you can see, I have, you know, again, three character or, you know, pieces of gear that are not reforged on this character. So hopefully that will give you some expectations for what gear level you need for this, whether that is like really high or it wasn't as high as you thought it was. You can see a lot of my characters are not on full reforge gear and they are on PVP builds and some of the gear is honestly scuffed like my Vivian. So yeah, hopefully this helps and uh, good luck on your clears guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.